I sense there is a grace moving someone forward. Honestly, First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. Read with me, please, if you are a believer. Ready? Read. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. People don't just move forward in this kingdom. There is an invisible hand that moves businesses, that moves ministries. Someone lift your voice and cry, Oh God, God of wonders, advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray hallelujah praise the lord you're not wasting your time psalm 45 verse 12 something is happening to someone psalm 45 verse 12 i receive it for myself psalm 45 and verse 12 and the daughter of tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray god of wonders give me visibility let the gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the bible says the daughter of tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah hallelujah please look up one of the reasons why God steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time. No matter what you lose, if you have time, you did not lose. No matter what you have, if you lose time, you lost. Are we together? Destiny, listen carefully please. Destiny is a function of time. We have time that is allocated. And for some reason, for various reasons, we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time. So God made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint. One is called restoration. The second is called speed. These, these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time, eventually, you will find expression we are going to pray these two things it says and i will restore years the first restoration you need is not things i will restore years number two the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together walk in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray Speed, speed, Kaparus Kemanakata. Speed in my destiny, speed in my life, speed in ministry. Ten years in one year, ten years in one year, speed in business. When the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities i assure you in the name of Jesus, restoration by the God of wonders, restoration in the name of Jesus. And the fortunes of Job were restored to him. The fortunes of Job were restored to him. Declare speed over your life. Lord, give me speed. Give me speed. Give me speed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah, 
Esther chapter 6 Esther chapter 6 something is about to happen to someone Esther chapter 6 from verse 1 please give it to us on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that Mordecai that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says Two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3, the king said, what honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives where we give our best. Some of us have served people for years. Some of us raised many children. They are in privileged positions today and by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when god is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus father i declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained i command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that i have done for your kingdom i gave to the work of the lord for the things that i have done for your kingdom let the book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray and provoke by the god of wonders the ministry of destiny help us listen to me there's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us that if they do not show up in your life believe me you will never rise not in this life i assure you i wish i had time i would have shown you from scripture but very quickly number one the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors i trust that god will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if Naaman, the Bible says Naaman in 2 Kings 5 was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. And yet in his house, there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free. The key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable. You must trust God for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park 
and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people gifted people gifted people from the protocol to your worship team and everyone give is a grace i'm sharing it with you so that you covet it it does not just happen these graces are like magnets they call the people to come you don't look for them you won't find them if you find them they will come with a side effect the grace purifies it knows the kind of people that it calls to you gifted people there are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted they are loyal but they are not gifted the last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers no matter who you are times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people you don't need men of influence you need people who can cry with you people like naomi was to ruth I mean like Ruth was to Naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than I'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the God of wonders should show up for you first that God will make you one of such kind of people first you can not pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry 
of destiny help us lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord now listen I'm about to spend the time I have left I know that many of us have come with hunger we are going to pray and ask the Lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you can I tell you this sincerely I admit to you that every challenge is relative is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight I'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir I'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what I'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the Bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season I'm, I'm telling you this believe what I'm saying this is a prophetic word I stand by the spirit of grace and I'm telling you that a new season a new season the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace I'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the spirit of grace I'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body you see I hope you don't mistake in what I'm doing for pride this is an election of grace is the privilege of God's grace sir would you be embarrassed if I talk to you I'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you this is what I'm seeing a door what do you have to do with music I'm seeing a door this was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years and the Lord is saying here I'm opening it again this is what I'm seeing you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the God of wonders mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. Who is grace? Grace, come. In the name of Jesus. I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit. Are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Where is home? He's at home in Abuja. In Abuja here. Tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you. Both of you. God is about, I'm seeing this man cry. There has been help her please. There has been constraints. But God himself is giving you a visitation even by the spirit of god listen i prophesy to you i don't care what it is that has held you down i stand by the god of heaven here in the name of jesus every obstacle that stands between you and the next level i clear it out of the way in the name of jesus i clear it out of the way i'm hearing a name martha martha please help me guys volume martha who is martha I'm hearing a name, Martha. 
we have to be very very fast Martha this is the name that the Lord is giving me I want to pray for that person right now that every plague of darkness every plague of darkness are we together so we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh no we are people who by the grace of god i assure you that if it's the god of heaven you will be surprised i'm about to pray a very serious prayer there are people today as it is there is nothing in your hand but i give you one month from today by the god that i serve honestly if god be god you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now you will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos kebrende kata favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying ke la porando sadikata brahas kadibaria te kebrende kasina mahaskala bakata now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because I'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when I pray that grace the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare right now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online 
every force of darkness cabas satire tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now i'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women i'm seeing chains people who have been bound i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number 13 i don't know where you are but right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring her out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward You've been in Abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down. I declare be released now, be released now, be released now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Be released now in the name of Jesus. In one minute I'd like you to just open your mouth and declare your expectation tonight. You're talking to Jesus. Hmm. You're talking to the miracle walker. You're talking to the helper. You're talking to the all-powerful, all-knowing. You're talking to the one who was, is, is to come. We worship you. Go ahead, declare. Father, lift me, change my story. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Someone whose faith is praying. Someone who believes in Jesus is praying. Someone who knows God is all powerful is praying. This is part of the service, you're not wasting your time. Believe me, there is a God that can live. If God does not lift you, no man can lift you. If God does not heal you, nobody can heal you. If God does not honor you, nobody can honor you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe in Jesus. I really, truly believe in Jesus. 
and I believe in everything that he represents. I believe he's a miracle worker. He will never call you to waste your time. No. Many of you have cried. You have come with hearts open. You must believe. The Bible says, he that cometh unto God must believe. Hebrews 11 and 6. That he exists. And then, that he is the rewarder. Not of them who are careless around his presence. Of them that diligently seek him. You seek God carelessly, you will not find him. There is a law. Ye shall seek me and only find me when you search for me with all your heart. Please, in one minute, I'd like you to insist, I will never go back to say, never, never. Not with this challenge, I will never go back to say. Never go back to say. Never go back the same. How else will the nations know that I met him? I will never go back the same. When Moses encountered him, he did not go back the same. Some of you are in ministry here. Pray, I will never go back the same. That I will contact the grace that will take me to another dimension. Some of you are in business here. I will never be the same. Politicians, career people, family people. Hallelujah. I, I saw like lightning. And when I saw it, I saw a spirit coming down. And I saw written on it anger. And the Lord said that this spirit you see has stopped many people from stepping into prophecy. And the Lord told me that when I come, even before we do any exhortation, there is a wicked spirit called anger. Many of you may not know. Anger has nothing to do with being good or bad. But it is a chiller and a closer of open doors. This is koinonia. In the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. I stretch my hands by the election of grace and I declare. Everyone here and every family here. That has been kept down because of the spirit of anger. Right now at the count of three. In this overflow. This main auditorium. I want you to bring all of them out. All the overflows down to the basement outside from any nation. At the count of three. In the name of Jesus, this spirit of anger, it must get out of your life right now. Are you ready? One, shalakataba. Two, three. Now, out of their lives. Bring them out. Out of their lives. Every altar sponsoring the spirit of anger to destroy you. It has destroyed relationships, destroyed opportunities. Bring them out right now. I decree and declare, anger, be gone, you are a spirit. 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 Bring them out. Anger. Some of you, it is whole families. It's a spirit. When you are angry, you make dangerous destiny altering decisions be free right now it has nothing to do with being good or bad my brothers and my sisters the lord brought you here to set you free are you just watching or you are praying everyone pray everything that represents anger in my life my destiny i come against it by the blood of the eternal covenant Many would have been millionaires except that anger stopped them. Many would have risen to great positions. Anger, dangerous spirit. Please pray, this is koinonia. Now the Lord is that spirit. 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 
and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i tell you there is no power that is not of the christ that will survive tonight's service we are still praying i still declare some of you are representing families the power of god is not just coming on you for yourself it's coming on you for your entire family you have been kept down because of the spirit of anger again i declare in the name of jesus anyone here under the captivity of the spirit of anger be delivered now 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 for those who are in front here and all and all the overflows i declare for those of you who have come out by the spirit here that spirit hear my voice I speak by the rod of a higher priesthood. Let them go now. Leave their families now. Leave their destinies now. Leave their families now. In the name of Jesus. Please pay attention. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now. For those of you who things never stay in your hands. It does not matter what blessing comes. There is an evil spirit that takes any good thing from your life. Any good thing. You are connected to people who can lift you. You are connected to opportunities that can raise you. But nothing seems to stay. There is a grace that can bring deliverance from losses. Listen to me. It says, and I will restore the years. I want to pray. Don't just come out at random. People are coming out by the Spirit. Please, this prayer, take it serious. You've lost opportunities. Some of you have lost time. You've lost resources. You've lost strategic relationships. Right now, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That name that is above every other name. And if God be God in this house tonight, there is no power that has kept you that will survive are you ready one two three shout jesus i command restoration every devil help them help them bring them out every spirit that has stolen things from you help them please my god my goodness Restoration, 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 restoration of spiritual fire, restoration of opportunities. restoration for some of you this week will not come to an end you will receive calls that will amaze you i'm speaking to you by the spirit of grace for some of you like samuel you will be told that the donkey that is missing that you have been searching by every human connection has been found by a mystery that only the god of heaven can explain Please don't be distracted. The spirit of shame and reproach. You hear me? There is such a thing called shame that everything that brings dishonor and reproach, the devil ensures the, that you are there first. Then it happens. Can I pray for you? Are you tired of standing already? In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, anyone here under the sound of my voice, 
that there is an embargo of shame and reproach upon your life, your family, your destiny. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name again. And that devil must jump out of your destiny. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. The embargo of shame, shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus. Do you know that in the realm of the spirit, a man's destiny can be exchanged? Have you read that in your Bible? That when they wanted to kill a king, he sacrificed his own son so that he will live long. There are many people, what you are living is not your destiny. I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus that exchangers of destiny that have that have exchanged a glorious destiny for one that is full of defeat. Right now, at the count of three, may fire from heaven fall upon any altar. One, two, three. Take that grace right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every destiny that has been exchanged, let there be a restoration now. Let there be a restoration now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But that was not his beginning. His mother called him Jabez. She bore him in shame. Can I tell you this? Please look at me. Let me tell you something about the grace for honor. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. No, nobody can honor himself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. When the grace for honor is not upon a life, everything that is around you is shame and reproach. Hello, give my tongue night, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him my tongue now. Thy kingdom come. Hello, him my tongue now. Thy kingdom come. Hello. There's someone here you lost a loved one last week just this week that passed i know that many people this is there's so many people here but the lord is ministering to me i want to pray there is we're going to pray uh, you're corporately against the spirit of death but there is a particular family i am seeing this is it's been circles of death you lost someone last week now is there such a person here very quickly I want to pray for you. The Lord is just putting it in my heart, putting it in my spirit last week, just this last week. I hope you know that death is a spirit. The rider upon the pale horse, among the four horsemen in Revelations, his name is death. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime it's subject to bondage the person i'm seeing is wearing a nose mask this is my visions i'm seeing something like that someone wearing a nose mask i'm still going to pray for everyone but this is what i'm seeing
My dear, look at me. This lady, where are you coming from? You see what is happening to her? I'm seeing coffins in front of her. I stretch my hands now by the spirit of the living God and I decree a paruska de balakatoshebia. Every covenant I use these people I'm praying for, for everyone here. Any covenant connecting you with the grave. Now, I'm going to pray. Listen, please pay attention. I'm praying for these people, but I want to pray. There are some of you, you dare not go to bed in the night. The only thing you see is dead people calling you. It's the grave. The, the, the grave is a spirit. As I'm praying for them, I'm praying for you too. Every covenant connecting you to the grave. You don't have to come out, please. You just receive from where you are. I use these ones in front as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? I declare in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Right now, everyone here who is under the call role of the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Help her. Be delivered now. Please bring for me the two people now in this main auditorium that will shout under the anointing now. I just saw light on two people. Please bring them. I want to speak to them before we sit. Loud to the hearing of everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are in front here, I declare by the Spirit of God that everything that connects you to death be delivered now. Everything that connects you to the spirit of death be delivered now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, everything that represents witchcraft in this family, be, be healed now and be delivered. Be delivered from everything connected to witchcraft. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Someone outside, the overflow outside, will start running. Please ushers, hold the person or anybody. There's someone who will begin to run by the spirit. Just hold the person. I want to speak to that. Don't bring the person here. Just hold the person there. Outside the overflow. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. The power of God is coming on someone outside. You begin to run right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus, help them. Let me speak and declare over that person. Help them, please. In the name that is above all names, I declare by the Spirit of God. The same way you are running like this, that is how you will step in with speed into the next level of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone outside is going to shout loud under the anointing. Please bring the person to the front of their screen. I want to speak to them. Loud under the anointing, the overflow outside. The power of God is coming upon that person right now. Mighty God. There are things only God can do. Where then is our boasting? It is he that has made us able ministers of the new covenant. Just keep her there. In the name of Jesus, I declare liberty by the spirit. Liberty by the spirit. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. Father, may flesh never be glorified. That as much as you continue to use us, may the world know that we are nothing more than vessels that have been shown mercy. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. There is a place where God is able to resurrect the dead. 
Some of you, you came here confused, no direction. You don't even know what your life is about. But you're coming here to meet with Jesus the Christ. And he's about to give you a new beginning. For some of you, men, men have beat their chest and in their arrogance, they have said, except I come in, you will not rise. Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day. Every man. Nobody was born an adult. Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman. So by the time a man beats his chest, God says, is it not because you, is it not when you wake up in the morning, you can go back to the office and oppress people? Ah, the psalmist said, I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustained me. Can I tell you this? The Holy Spirit is the holder of every life on earth, including the life of arrogant people who will not fear God. Water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you, none like you. Sing water, you turn to say. Andrew Andrew I'm hearing a name Andrew you are wearing like a maroon dress you are at the back Andrew is there someone like that Andrew what's your name were you holding something on your left hand were you holding something on your left hand I saw in my vision you were holding like a card maybe the visitors card or something I want to pray for you there is a massive wind of deliverance that is about to blow in this place right now. Deliverance means the spiritual system that separates you from every obstacle that has impeded your advancement. It's not just casting out demons. Spirits are not the only things that have to be separated from you. If you are separated from trouble, it's deliverance also. Are we together? My friend, look at me. I will pray for you. Huh? And in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of God, let there be a miracle for you right now. Let there be a miracle for you. You're also coming out. Okay, all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman I'm about to pray, but there is a woman I'm seeing. Is it eight years now? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I don't know who that is, whether it is in this auditorium, the overflows, but I'm seeing in my vision a woman eight years please make sure you are not just coming make sure you meet the exact prophetic word eight years i bless you gentlemen in jesus name please two things make sure you are married and make sure it's exactly what i said please madam how many years have you been married 15 years I said eight years, but you're here, just stand. Eight years, is your husband here? He's not here. You believe in Jesus, that he will give you a child? Yes, I do. Hmm. Where are you from, madam? No, 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 state of origin. 
I can hear you. Okay, I'll pray for you. Ah, my goodness. Father, in the name of Jesus. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the end of it. Go and return with your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Listen, we are not herbalists, we fear God, and our power comes from the throne. Sometimes it's good to clarify this thing so that there's no confusion at all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is that now? We don't have to. Madam, don't cry. Weep not, for the book is open. I want to pray for you. Where, where are you coming from? I'm so touched by where, where are you coming from, madam? How long have you been married? Are you here alone? Where is your wife? Two of you. You see, brothers and sisters, when God reveals these things, it, it is not to show, I continue to say it, it's not just to show that a man is powerful. Many of these families, you know, you know how it is in Africa. When these kinds of results don't come, people can say and do all sorts of things. But there is a God who reigns in heaven. I want you to believe me that you will return with children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands to them. We're also priests who are ministering. Let's declare as a family of faith. The Bible says, none shall be barren. I'd like us to declare. The power that is responsible for barrenness, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cast it out of their lives. Regardless the medical condition, we correct it, we change it. Every closed womb, be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare over you. Sir, this is you and you. Just lift up your hands, two of you. Where are you coming from? From Africa. From? I want to pray for you and your wife. Just hold your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, every ordinance, this is not even just the issue of fruitfulness, your overall progress in life. I declare by the power of the I'm looking at you and I'm seeing two of your hands tied in the spirit. There is nothing that is working. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over you and your wife. I lose you now. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go and succeed. Go and prosper. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let me just do my crazy thing on stage here i'll soon let you go and sit down the lord is telling me that all of you are going to have miracles but the one with twins the anointing is coming on you now there is one of you i'm seeing twins in my vision and i'm seeing i just saw like rain this is what i saw the power of god in a mighty way that one person is honestly my brothers and my sisters this thing that god does if i have my way if not that i'm under the anointing i will not embarrass myself like this in the presence of people are we together but this is what the power of god can do i saw twins and the lord said he will identify that person because his power will rest upon that person lord in the name of jesus we decree now and we declare by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ as god has declared it go and return with your miracles in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ by the supernatural power of the holy spirit god has spoken once and in the name of jesus there is nothing that will stop his word from coming to pass we place that word upon you 
and as God has declared, let it be for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's celebrate them as they go back. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay. There is such a spirit called delay. And I want you to bring those people out. There will be a mighty move of the spirit. The spirit of delay. The spirit of delay. And while I am praying for the spirit of delay, I'm seeing that there is someone, I'm seeing there is madness in your family. People just keep getting mad like a, 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 a psychological, psycho, what, what's it called? You know, that issue of madness. I'm about to pray. Just bring, just bring them out. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, upon everyone here on this ground right now, if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice, that is under the influence of the spirit of delay. Some of you, that's why jobs have not come. Some of you, that's why doors have not opened. Right now at the count of three, I want you to shout that name Jesus, inside, outside, following online. And at the mention of that name, the power of God will rest upon you and that devil leaves you. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command that spirit, go now. Go now, bring them out. Delay of all sorts. Delay in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that is responsible for delay, we come against it. We come against it. We come against it. Whether in business, in politics, in career, I come against that spirit. We are praying for people now. Hallelujah. Now we are still praying. There are families that are corporately under that influence. Some of you will travel abroad and come back and yet nothing moves in your life. I declare right now, everything that has refused to move in your life, the power that is responsible for it, be delivered, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. There are many of you, your loved ones worship deities. And even though some of them have stopped, these deities may seem to have had a legal ground over your life. But my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. I want to declare your final deliverance. If there is anything, Parus Katebara, territorial deities planted to the earth, that may be the reason why people do not rise right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead at the count of three may fire locate those people and fall upon them now one two three take that fire 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 it's time for you to move forward. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to prophesy your advancement. I move forward by the Spirit of the Living God. Are you praying in the name that is above all names? I make progress, I move forward. No power keeps me down. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Please be sensitive. There is a spirit called failure at the edge of breakthrough. Have you had it? That your eyes will always see it and when your hand is about to touch it, something happens. I want to pray for you right now. Father, anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a family pattern that makes people to see good things but never handle it. My God, my God, I'm seeing the power of God rest on people. Let them not go. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I declare deliverance right now. 
at the count of three, you will shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every pattern, every pattern over your life that makes you rise and go down. Every pattern comes under judgment now. Under judgment now. Under judgment now. listen to me we are praying every time a good thing is about to happen to you there a vision comes or a dream you are in primary school or you are in secondary school writing an exam that you never pass or someone comes to molest fire is coming on those altars right now father at the count of three everyone here being manipulated from the spirit realm I declare by the rod of the higher priesthood, let there be deliverance now. One, two, three, let fire come on you now. Let fire come on you now. Every strange spirit manipulating your destiny, be delivered now. the realm of the spirit is a very powerful realm someone will vow to help you vow to lift you this man that man holding on the chair i don't know who that man is sir please lift your hands i just saw something like a chain all over you and the lord is saying that you should i should lose you i stretch my hands to you i don't know you sir but in the name of jesus christ every chain that has held you be delivered now be delivered now! Be delivered now! Be delivered now! Elana Subraka to Sketi Balikeri. The Lord is asking me to break the power of patterns. Every year at the same time something happens. This has been so. Either death or sicknesses. Some is rainy season, some is dry season. Repetition, some is after two, two years. After three, three years, someone must die. Or every year, right now in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice. If there is any pattern over your life, and your family help them please in the name of jesus at the count of three that pattern is broken right now one two three i break that pattern now i break that pattern now patterns of death patterns of failure be broken now Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. There are families here, the only way you eat is by serving others. Anything that will take you to the top, there is a spirit that will always bring you down. I don't mean serving like value, becoming a slave. The only way. And the Lord is asking me to deliver families here, where the man is the woman and the woman is the man. The man is a woman and the woman is a man. In terms of responsibility and supplies, everything comes from the woman. I decree by the spirit of the living God. Don't be tired of receiving. I speak over your life. Every pattern again I repeat that is not of God at work in your life. That devil that is behind it, they catch fire now. They catch fire now! They catch fire now!
Hallelujah. Who is Gloria? I'm hearing a name, Gloria. Gloria. Marvelous God. Gloria. Gloria. In a few minutes, the grace for speed is going to be resting in this place. Gloria. Every altar, hear me, the Lord is speaking about the Gloria. Our medical people, I can pray for you and then you go back and continue your work. But in the name that is above all names, I don't know why the Lord sent for you. I'm just seeing fire moving in front of the stage here. Everyone here under the yoke of witchcraft that will not let you go. In the name of Jesus, Mate Pratuske Delekepa, Skanabagareka Tuskedia, Enkreteke Paruta Tata, Paru Sedia, may fire come upon you now. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar sitting on your destiny, this is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered now. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name, and that at the mention of that name, every knee must bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord madam this woman come this one where are you from where are you from madam Benway State in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you Hi. I command every devil don't be embarrassed I'm not a prophet of doom okay but I'm seeing a snake just walking over you like head to toe head to toe again in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil let her go now let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now help her please let her go now. I'm seeing a serpent. This is what I'm seeing. Just moving left and right. He gave us authority over snakes and scorpions and over every power of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hmm. Now I'm seeing a vision that I usually don't see very often. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi state. This is Kogi. The moment I begin to pray, those from that region usually, I don't know why God does that. The power of God begins to come on them. Bring them now. In the name of Jesus, this is what I'm seeing. Deliverance. I'm seeing Kogi state. Kogi state. Kelatari kato shadikata. Kogi state. Pareketo shadikata. Oh, there are altars I'm seeing sitting on men's destinies will not allow men rise but I come by the rod of a higher priesthood by this revelation everyone connected to that territory be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now bring them out be delivered now this things are signs and wonders the Lord does it to bring glory to his name my eyes are open again the Lord is still showing me that vision and I'm seeing the light of going of God going from Kogi state I am seeing emo state emo state right now I'm seeing the power of God they are resting just emo state I declare now help them everyone who is connected to that territory and is under any demonic influence your liberty comes for you now 
be delivered now. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, can I talk to you? Please come. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you, but come. Your life is about to change. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? An Ambra State. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing stroke. The devil wants to bring stroke on your life. This is what I'm saying to paralyze the entire one side of you. Stroke. This is a demonic thing. Number two, I'm seeing that by next month, the devil had planned bringing a serious attack on your finances. That everything will just go down mysteriously in a way that nobody will be able to understand. I want to pray for you. And the dream you have and you see dead people, I want to pray for you. You are together? Okay. I want to pray for you. Father, every... Ah! I'm praying for you and yet I'm seeing the power of God on your wife. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you see, you are praying for husband and it's in, your, in my vision is your wife I'm seeing under the power of God. Right now in the name that is above all names, I declare the yoke of bondage over this family. Praise now! Praise now! Praise now! I just saw fire just moving the length and the breath in the name of Jesus I burn everything every chaff that is not of God give way now in the name of Jesus every bondage that the devil is planning related to your profession I declare deliverance right now in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. How many of you believe in miracles? The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing things being removed from the stomach of people. I don't know what it is. This is what I'm seeing. This is in my vision now. I'm seeing something just coming out. Some is growths, fibroids that are being removed right now as I'm speaking. The power of God is resting on those people one by one by one. For others is growths, all kinds of lumps. I'm about to pray for the sick shortly. But in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that for all those that God is showing me right now, wherever you are located in this auditorium or around, I stretch my hands. May fire from heaven. Hmm. May fire from heaven. Kalis kati kota shalakros kati brandagata. May fire from heaven rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray for the sick. Listen, I believe in the healing ministry. Before Jesus Christ returns, there will be an escalation of the power of Jesus to heal and to deliver in a way and a proportion that we have never seen. I believe that with all my heart because the word of God says so and fathers who have gone ahead left it as a prophecy and we ourselves who by the privilege of God's grace is granted the power to walk in this. We bear witness that these speakings are true. I want to pray for you right now. Here's what we're going to do very quickly. Some of you just under the anointing even whilst the service came the power of God has already touched you but I'm going to pray for the sick. I truly believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Everywhere. Inside, outside. Just help those under the anointing. Miracles are happening now. For those, for those, if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest as a point of contact. You can also stand in for loved ones. You heard the testimony of the dear lady. All overflows. And you who are following, watching from whatever TV station or your homes via internet, 
I like you right there where you are connect by faith believe Jesus we come in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God I want you to believe it will happen in a moment in a twinkling of an eye just take your eyes away from the sickness some of you have all kinds of death sentences before you take your eyes away from it I want to pray right now agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ a gentleman is going to run out now by the power of God the moment that happens the healing power of God will begin to move honestly I don't know why God does these things but these are signs and wonders a gentleman the power of God will rest upon him literally he will begin to run just hold him so he does not injure himself this is a sign that the Lord gives me to trigger the flow of the healing power of Jesus father thank you the, the might a mighty very mighty anointing will just rest upon a gentleman and the moment that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move and for that gentleman it's not just resting on you for nothing help them please quickly now we can pray please help them the ministry of signs and wonders is a fearful ministry right now in the name of Jesus every devil and every spirit that is behind infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that that spirit leaves you now help them please help them my God right now in Jesus name be healed be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now anyone on the anyone sitting on a wheelchair or on crutches lift it up now and begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ lift it up now and begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ blind eyes be open now whether partial blindness or total that blindness be healed now deafness of any sort one or both ears be healed now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone I don't know if it's it's a swelling I don't know if it's goiter or something around your throat the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ lower abdominal pain I'm seeing lower abdominal pain the Lord is healing that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ breathing problem I don't know specifically what it is but I'm saying you have problem breathing in fact this problem makes you snore seriously when you are asleep you snore in a way that it doesn't matter what position very heavy snoring the power of God is resting upon you now I'm seeing a woman you are a bit elderly I'm seeing severe pain just around the lumbar vertebra here the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now you came with a sick person you are outside you are in the overflow outside I don't know if it's um not, don't be embarrassed I don't know if it's HIV or so but I'm seeing the power of God touch that person right now every blood condition here that needs to be changed in the name of Jesus we change it now we change it now heart palpitations is being healed now the Lord is healing heart palpitations I'm seeing someone I don't know what it is but it's like they diagnose something inside your head I don't know if it's a growth or something um, that is inside your head and for one that I'm seeing at the back of your eyes I'm not a doctor forgive me if I don't get it right but it looks like there is something swelling at the back of your eyes I hope I'm saying the right thing but in the name of Jesus right now may the power of God touch you supernatural miracle right now there's, there's a gentleman I'm seeing your wrist I don't know what happened but there is severe pain around your wrist 
the power of God is touching you right now. Right now. I'm, I'm seeing that this is a very interesting case God is showing me. There's someone you are losing your teeth gradually, gradually, one by one. I, I don't know if it's that your mouth is, is I, I, I don't know what the condition is, but um, you are beginning to lose your teeth. There is a miracle, supernatural miracle that is happening to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, your chest was hit, I think in a dream. You were sleeping and there was an impact on your chest. From that day when you woke up, you've been falling sick recurrently. And even with chest pain, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Are we still together? Asthma, be healed now. God is healing asthma. Someone who is being healed will shout a loud shout. Not just, not amen, but I'm seeing that's how that person's healing is coming. Asthma. God is healing asthma. Severe migraine, especially in the night, pounding migraine on your head. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. You are not on any weight loss uh, program or any diet, but you have started losing weight no matter what you eat. This has even got you concerned because you are emaciating. People are even looking at it. They think you are fasting, but you are beginning to get concerned. Very significant weight loss. And it has nothing to do with dieting or whatever it is. This is a demonic thing. Because from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing that there is something wrong with your liver. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be healed now. Help them, please. Help that person. In the name of Jesus Christ. A miracle is happening to you right there where you are. Now, there are people following. It's amazing. Do you know how many people connect from hospitals? There are several hospitals right now. And bless God for the kinds of doctors and nurses and, and you know, medical practitioners that we have. Because sometimes they know that this situation is beyond the issue of medicine. They know that this is a demonic thing. So I'm praying for those who are connecting any patient right now from the hospital world over you are following every death sentence on you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus i bring you life and healing now life and healing now by the power of the holy spirit hear me every malfunctioning organ here in this place right now i declare be healed in jesus name There's someone at the back, you are close to the door. The power of God is touching you. You are close to one of these doors. I'm seeing the power of God touching that person and the Lord is taking something out of that person's life. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Anyone here having high blood pressure or low blood pressure? How many of you know that they are all evil? Whether high or low, I don't know what kind of thing is that. Whether it's high is bad, low is also bad. Whichever category, but especially high blood pressure. There are many, many people right now, as they are, they do not even know. Anyone here, young or old, you are under the influence of high blood pressure. In Jesus' name, we command your blood pressure to go down to normalcy. Sugar diabetes. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I'm seeing someone, they had performed a surgery on you. Something, I don't know if it was appendicitis. But from that time, you have not been yourself again. I think they, they maybe, you know, removed the appendix or something. But I'm seeing there's been severe pain. You can't even sit down, uh, you know. And, and press that side there's severe pain right now as I'm speaking the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus now the Lord is showing me two women will be very fast about this the Lord is showing me two women I'm seeing that you gave birth through CS and from the time you gave birth through CS every time you bend there is a very sharp pain all through your lower abdominal region. In the name of Jesus, as I'm speaking right now, after the prayer, I want you to check it. That devil leaves your body now. 
whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Everything God put in the human body, He gave it boundaries. You are not allowed to move any. The only thing that can move everywhere is blood, and that's to carry food, oxygen. They tell us. But demons flow through these things and they move everywhere from your head and the rest. Anything that is a stranger in your body and is loitering up and down, causing you pain and organ malfunctions, this night it comes to an end now. Yes, sir. Now receive these prophetic words. Anyone here trusting God for a job, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Some of you, between now and next Sunday, not next, not next week, between now and next Sunday, I call upon the God of my covenant. May you return with jobs that will surprise you. Please receive it. Prophecy is powerful. Number two, I pray for you. Any door that has refused to open, and you know it needs to open for the next level of your destiny. Whoever is sitting as the gatekeeper, I will not let that door open. We clear them out of the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me? Anybody holding what belongs to you and has refused to release it, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn until it gets to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace. Hear me? Every helper of your destiny who has been ignoring you until now, I place an anointing upon you. This week, they have no rest till they get up and attend to you. I want to pray for you. There are some of you like Mordecai. You have helped many people from destruction and you have not been rewarded. Mordecai helped the king and they still left him on the ground at the gate. But the Bible says that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. I pray for you. Anybody you have helped and the season of reward has come and they have refused to attend to you. This night by prophecy, I open the book of remembrance. I open the book of remembrance. May the mercy of God locate you for your lifting. Let me pray for those due for promotion. The Bible says promotion does not come from the east, the west, or the south. Indeed, it comes from the north. Mount Zion, the side of the north. The Bible calls it the city of the great king. I pray for you. All of you who are due for promotion, in the name of Jesus, may my God, who is also your God, may he surprise you. Listen. Promotion does not mean giving you another rank. Promotion means another level. Anyone here who came with any point of contact, whether your credentials, whether documents, whether whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, I declare them anointed. I declare them anointed. I declare them anointed. Let me pray for all who are in business here. You are in business, provided your business is legitimate and is scriptural. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, may grace from heaven that brings for increase, for influence, for visibility, may it rest upon the works of your hands. I pray for those who are in politics and governance by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I announce to you by the spirit of grace, let this be your season of lifting. Believe me, these are not empty words. Let this be your season of lifting. Hallelujah. Now, I want to release a grace on anyone here who is in ministry or is called in the fivefold ministry. There are many, many people who are called into the fivefold ministry, but there has not been that activation of the grace and the oil wherever you are 
I stretch my hands. God of heaven, prophetic mantles right now. In the name of Jesus, everyone called into the prophetic. Help them. The eyes that see, the ears that hear. May that grace, I activate prophetic fountains. In the name of Jesus, accuracy in perception. In the name of Jesus. There are people here, based on your divine assignment, you should be carrying certain anointings, healing anointings, anointings for the sick. Where are they, oh God? Please help them. Right now, anyone here who should carry the mantle for healing, I stretch my hands. May the power from heaven, let it... In the name of Jesus, healing place, healing fountain, healing mantle, take that place. Healing grace. I say it again. Go back and meet the sick in your homes, in your environment. Get them out of those dead beds. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here. The mantle for leadership has been looking for you. Mantle for leadership. I want to pray for you. Anyone here. Who should carry that grace for leadership? Whether you are aware or not, I stretch my hands wherever you are, within this auditorium and outside. May that grace locate you now. Carry that grace for leadership. Carry that Carry that grace for leadership. There are kingdom financiers that God is raising in this end time. Financial apostles indeed. People who understand the purpose of the wealth of the kingdom. Help them please. More than just self-aggrandizement. More than just I'm getting a car or a house. That's not the purpose for wealth. In the name of Jesus, everyone here who must take off that mantle, I can tell you there is a mantle for wealth. I decree and declare wherever you are in Sapakatosh Ketebereketia, may that grace rest on you now. Take that anointing, take that anointing, take that anointing. Let it open strange doors for you in the name of Jesus. I want to release a grace for access and visibility hear me it's one thing to have the value whether spiritual whether whatever it is there are many gifted people looking at me here and following but you see there is a grace that makes men identify you and give you visibility so that you will find expression the bible says neither do men light a lamb there are many anointed people here but the grace to locate you for as long as Samuel did not carry that oil David even though he was killing the lion even though he could lead Israel he remained in the bush the grace of visibility takes men from the bush and it puts you where you belong I have tasted of that grace I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead anyone here who should rise to visibility for people to see what you carry so that you can represent God in your assigned territory. May that mantle rest on you now. May that mantle rest on you now. My God, fire is burning here. Just be patient. What you are receiving will bless you. Are you ready for speed now? Oh, there is a grace for speed. There really is a grace for speed. You don't have all the time for everything. I stretch my hands. Koinonia, I speak to you. Marie Skotelekadia, from today, take the grace for speed. The mantle for speed. The mantle for speed. The grace for speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. 
10 years in one month. I release it upon you now. Every man needs destiny helpers to rise in life. No matter how great you are, even Jesus needed John the Baptist to announce him. I desire to you to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. I want to call your destiny helpers by prophecy. Father, everyone here, because I sense in my spirit that there are people who are in strange seasons in their lives. This is what I sense. You are coming to the end of a season and you are connecting with a greater one. But if there is no helper of destiny, you can remain there and recycle seasons again. I pray for you from the north to the south, the east to the west, within this nation and outside of this nation, wherever the helper of your destiny is, I command them to appear now. Everything that has died in your life, business or whatever endeavor, including your spiritual life, I call upon Jesus with the resurrection and even the life. Let there be resurrection to every dead thing now. Dead organs hear the word of the Lord. Dead visions hear the word of the Lord. Dead families hear the word of the Lord. Dead marriages hear the word of the Lord. Dead businesses hear the word of the Lord. Dead prayer lives, hear the word of the Lord. Let me pray for you. Any wrong association that makes Jesus look unserious to you. How many of you know that there are associations that is almost a taboo to love Jesus? Anything that requires you leaving Jesus to get it is not worth your time. Are we together? Therefore, I pray, let there be a divine editing on all your relationships. We're almost done. If the spirit of death is eyeing any family here, you know, hold on. I hope you know whenever it seems as though when we get into the second half of the year, from August now into, they call it the um, ember months, September, it looks like there is a trend, especially in this nation. People who have no business dying, accidents that don't make sense. Every blood sorting spirit around the road within this city, waiting eaters of flesh, a parus cutter, and drinkers of blood, we decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, there is no place for you this time around. You have no covenant with death. The same way you saw the second half of the year, you will see the end of the year. This issue of finances is making many people to leave God in this season. People don't pray again. They don't fast. They don't love God because of this economic thing. There are, there are different levels of wealth. There is wealth that comes by providing value are we together now? You provide your value to a targeted consumer base and you are reward, and you are rewarded for it. That's, that's, a, that's a, a, a level of wealth. There is wealth that comes as a re reward for changing lives and impacting people. It's called transformational wealth. You don't sell that value, you give it free. But because it is value, it is still mandated that you be rewarded. But there is a third dimensional wealth called sovereign wealth. Is wealth by prophecy and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved he says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established believe in his prophet so shall you prosper I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I prophesy over your finances anyone who is in any financial pit right now come out of it now Come out of it now, whether personally or corporately. Come out of it now.
I call for the mystery of the raven that brought bread to Elijah at Brook May strangers who do not know, may you collide with them at the gate of destiny. May they be used marvelously by God to wipe your tears. Hear me. Anyone here that there are bills sitting on your neck and they will not give you rest. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood this night. In the name of Jesus, may my God shift systems and structures to bless you. Everything that has made God, Jesus Christ, to not be a priority to you. Don't forget, we are not just speaking so that people will have money and cars. We are a very spiritual people who love Jesus with passion and with zest and with zeal. And if you're connected to this ministry and this vision, you must love Jesus. We are not just some carnal people out to just we teach and communicate the whole counsel of God. The highest being your passion and your fire for God. Can I pray for you in the name of Jesus? The average faithful person in this house should be serious spiritually. You have to take God seriously. All this one leg in and one leg out is time to be serious. The fire that must come upon your prayer altar. As an individual and as a family, may that fire rest upon you now. What study fire? The grace to sit down and study scripture, not just to get a sermon, but to know God and to learn and to grow, to be equipped with intelligence that gives you dominion to excel and represent the purposes of the kingdom. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus and by the spirit of grace, I release you into supernatural living. Hallelujah. Some of you are lifting your certificate. You've been a graduate for 10 years, 20 years, no job. Some no promotion. Some is a threat letter by anything, a court or whatever it is. I want to pray for you. I just need you to believe, to agree with me. Some of you is your business ideas. Some is your crashing business. Some whatever it is. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, the one who gave this anointing, I decree, I speak over every document and every point of contact represented. In the name of Jesus, I command speed upon that document. In the name of Jesus Christ, for every document lifted that is a threat, a challenge to a family, to an individual, to your reputation, in the name of Jesus, I veto that situation now. I veto that situation now. Every document lifted that is a certificate, or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you I command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family. In the name of Jesus, may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report 
is a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are impotent as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now For some of you, what you are lifting is your ATM card, your checkbook, or your phone as a sign. In the name of Jesus, I declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the Lord God of heaven. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. I pray for every ministry represented here. Whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels, that souls will not be saved through your ministry, that lives will not be changed. In the name of Jesus, I release an anointing upon you now. I release an anointing upon you now. Go and do exploits in the name of Jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah I'm praying for people here who are trusting God to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my God surprise you I decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1,000 naira in your account now but in the name of Jesus I put properties in your hands I put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what God can do. I put properties in your hands. I pray for every student here. If there is any result that is not your own, that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of result a strange change of result a change of results a change of results Hear me, I want to pray for those who are not doing well. 
you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me a few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the harbalis and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalis and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalis and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalis and the center may the earth open and swallow them i know you don't like what i'm saying don't mind me just let me finish praying i say again that every territory whether a village whether a town where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men that you do your best but you never move forward i command a sword of vengeance tonight i command a sword of vengeance tonight whoever has ignored you and trivialize the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names let there be a strange unction on you tonight an unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here listen this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break i believe in family i believe in honor one of the things the devil is doing is working at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife they get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives i'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone called barren you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for influence we're rounding up I believe in influence don't reject it don't fight it 
don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances i decree and declare wherever you find your place i command you to rise above your equals rise above your contemporaries as a lecturer rise above your equals as a banker rise above your equals as a student rise above your equals they will seek counsel from you they will look for the word of the lord from your mouth in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me pray for our finances thou hast caused men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place listen listen we are not naive about what value there are astute business people in this ministry there are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry who are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done people bless me every day because they perceive that i've been a blessing to them but there is the finger of god where for no known reason if if i've been nice to you you can say ah apostle you changed my life take time naira there is a reason why you bless what you see that i didn't sell anything to you i just took out time to change your life and you blessed me if you employ me and i work for you i gave my time and my value so in return you give me a salary is that true but when the finger of god comes please hear me there will be no reason no reason except for the fact that jacob i love Esau I hated. You can be sitting down and God will raise somebody to rise up. Listen, not only bless you once, but say, I want to make this an addiction, a habit to bless you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have seen the money that came through your skill. Congratulations. Where is the one that came through the finger of God? You should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because I got a good job. Thank God for that. This one came because I blessed a life. I paid a graduate a student school fees. Now he's working and he has come back to say thank you. This one came because I have a child. The child has become responsible and he has come back to say, Mama, na good day. But show me the one that came from the finger of God that you know this one lord i can't explain how this one came i don't even know the name of the sender i just saw one name or two names the finger of god you see the problem we're rounding up with the body of christ we fight what we don't understand and what we understand we trivialize it why is god doing this thing it's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money no god is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him are we together now you can see that cgc is doing a lot of work by the way um, I, I didn't even plan with them every single one should be part of this project cgc you can see this 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 is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us and honestly i didn't even plan this with any of them i've not even seen the pastor as i just said this now everybody should be a part of this i know what the ministry koinonia will do i know what as a person i would do i'm encouraging you you can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service and you can discuss with them how do i get my seat ten thousand twenty thousand hundred thousand a million whatever amount and say look i want my seed to be here by the grace of god they are not looking for money to do this god has been faithful and they have been you can see the items that there is just i'm sure because of this program they decided to suspend what they are doing i'm just using an opportunity to tell you whoever you are make sure that you find a way of participating in this but let me tell you this there is the finger of god and i want to pray this because some of our families nobody even went to school so there is no issue of saying lord give them a job you see mama of 70 years which financial intelligence are you going to tell her 
that our rewards in life all that thing you are talking she's just looking at you what are you saying my son i am dying here a landlord a young boy of 25 wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years by nine o'clock tomorrow mama get out of my house and she says please help me that one you don't need a financial seminar you need the finger of god this is where most of our families are lift your hands let me pray for you i have seen this in my life the finger of god was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life the finger of god was designed to come through for you quarter to shame i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus christ beginning from this night and all through this weekend by men you do not know and by those you already know even if they have helped you before i command strange wealth by the finger of god i command strange wealth by the finger of god i prophesy to you right now listen i want you to believe me in the name of jesus a stranger you do not know you don't even know how he got your account number i compel them by the spirit to bless you in the name of jesus christ in the course of this prayer and fasting a strange woman just called she sent me a text and said you don't know me but i'm a businesswoman am i talking with apostle i said yes i thought she wanted me to pray for her and he said the lord spoke to me that there is a seed that i should sow half of it to you half of it to the ministry i said madam no i don't do this i want to make sure people work with revelation why do you want to do this have you discussed this with your husband and she said sir with all due respect i'm a businesswoman i'm not a little child talking i have children that are adults so if i'm making a decision i know what i'm doing i said i'm so sorry man okay i prayed for her and sent her the text when i saw the alert of what this woman sent i sat down and i said god what is this what is this madam do you listen to koinonia no madam have you ever come for koinonia here no have i ever madam have you ever come for koinonia here no have i ever prayed for you no did i bless you in any meeting no say the finger of god see most of us are used to suffering and hardship we don't ever believe strangers can bless us if i say may god make your boss or your uncle you say it makes sense because there's one money that i'm waiting for do you know me as a person i have seen the account number of people in dreams and god asked me to bless them they were just sitting and they saw alerts they don't even have my number to call me it's just pure obedience the same thing god has done for people towards me not everybody is disobedient god has not yet directed them to you that's why they've not responded i pray again father i cry to you this grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of god i declare let it come upon everyone now every department from prayer department to worship team ushers welfare department every worker in this house every member in this house those following from every nation strange favor in the name of jesus now please drop your documents just keep your hands let me pray for your spiritual life please take note i want to pray because of what will happen i want to pray something must happen to your prayer life something must happen to your access to light something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders something must happen to your church something must happen about the gift of the spirit some of you have not seen it in your life i want to pray for you please just guide the people whether or not um you are an usher please because of what happens when i pray this kind of prayer please whoever is under the anointing close to you just help just guide them so they don't injure themselves lift your hands i want to pray one minute i long to see you that i might impart my god look at i'm seeing flames this is what i'm seeing all over right to the back flames lord jesus i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit 
the anointing the grace for prayer and supplication there has to be someone it is looking for receive that grace now receive that grace now take it now receive that grace in jesus name inside outside overflow one two three four five online i release that grace enter a new dimension of prayer a new dimension of fasting in the name of jesus we are still praying lift your hands mm. i pray for you you see the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the lord god must give you the eyes of an eagle the eyes that can see beyond just the letters i pray for you fire will come upon your eyes i command may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation insights to scriptures receive it in the name of jesus the gift of the spirit was given to the body of christ the gift of the spirit we no longer respect it and so we are not established i want to pray for you whether it is the revelatory gift whether it is the utterance gift whether it is the power gift i tell you i feel fire in my hands i stretch my hands lord where are they everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the spirit in the name of jesus at the count of three like rain from heaven let it fall upon you one two three take that anointing i command the gift activated now the gift of prophecy step into that dimension the eyes that can see i open you up to visions in the name of jesus christ All those who are called into the fivefold ministry and the grace is not yet sure you are not clear tonight i pray may an unction come upon you that you will know you are called may an unction come upon you sister may an unction come upon you brother may an unction come upon you i call for the catherine coolmans i call for the emmy simple mcpherson i call you by the spirit I call for the John G. Lakes. I call for the William Samos. God's generals of our generation. Hear the clarion call in the spirit. I call you forth in the name of Jesus. everyone in your family that has not given his life to christ hear me if there is any unbeliever it could be your father it could be your mother i declare may the angel of the lord bring strange conviction to them in the name of jesus christ whether they are christians or not i pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to christ Every loved one who is far from here but connected to you whether they are outside this country or they are within this country the same power you are receiving tonight I declare may that same power come upon them the same result that your life will command tonight may that same result be given to them one last prayer and we're done whatever has closed the gate of speed speed in marriage speed in achievement speed in establishment for brothers in the name of jesus in this year of signs and wonders believe me between now and june i'm speaking a word of prophecy to someone achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years between now and june 2018 achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years
there are people as i'm talking now you are not in any relationship but august will not meet you a single lady in the name of jesus there are young men as it is now you don't have up to two thousand naira in your account but in the name of jesus by june this year you will be having six seven figures in your account If there is anyone here called jobless between now and the end of whether you applied for the job or not I prophesy to you get a job and be established thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting, you for lifting. my head I thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Everyone keep standing. The name of what you give that buys money is what the Bible calls true riches. True riches. It is true riches that can purchase unfaithful mammon and alongside with it buy every other thing the peace the joy the influence are we together there is something in this kingdom that buys every other thing on earth this looks like the highest most valuable thing when you possess this you can make any noise and ramble and talk rubbish but in the kingdom, there are realities that we possess. Listen carefully. And the Bible says, with it, everything, whether this, whatever it is, you can possess is, is called the true riches. There are seven of this spiritual capital. One of them is called light. We buy things with light. The power of light is capital in the spirit the anointing is capital in the spirit words are capital in the spirit in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I speak over you that in this season I program a climate of spiritual reality above you and I declare may it begin to call strange levels of lifting in your life may it begin to call strange levels of honor to your life may it begin to call strange levels of speed in your life let me pray for the grace for speed now listen be sensitive because the people the anointing will come on sometimes they can attempt to run physically so you hold them so they don't scatter anywhere right now i stretch my hands the grace that came upon elijah that caused him to overtake the chariot of ahas by this apostolic and prophetic grace i stand in the office of my call i shift you by speed enter a new dimension in the name of jesus speed 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 i prophesied in one day let zion be born i command speed speed in your finances speed in your spiritual life speed in every area of your life whatever level you have been in spiritually and you have refused to shift i stand by prophecy and i shift you to a new dimension new level of prophecy new level of revelation new level of encounters new levels of signs and wonders receive it in the name of jesus
It is what is on you that controls what is around you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? In this kingdom, it is the spiritual climate above you. I'm speaking by the spirit. It is the spiritual climate above you that controls the realities that are captured in your life. It takes more than desire. It takes more than zeal. Again, I'm speaking to you. Any climate over you that is drawing things in your life that are putting you in trouble any climate that is refusing you from rising you are a man of God with an anointing yet doors are not opening because there is a climate in the name of Jesus I command that climate to live your life now lift your hands I want to pray on your hands not you just your hands it was with the hand Moses held the rod he says and with these hands you will do signs and wonders I stretch my hands to your hands and by the spirit I make contact with your hands may these hands carry straight fire fire for signs fire for wonders you lay these hands and change the destinies of men you lay these hands and speak the purposes of the kingdom everything these hands come upon i declare that it is anointed it will be an instrument of signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Always like you, Lord. In all the earth, much less love and beauty, and less work. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the constant of our pride. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. Sing my witness, you are blessed, Lord. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. You're the holder of my future. And all my days on earth, I will away. The moment that I see you face to face. For nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, Lord, the God. Other things can run dry. But Jesus, you're the car that wouldn't run dry.
Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are gathered here and we will always allow you to build, to change, to lift. That is not of the Christ I stand here right now if there be any force any yoke any agreement upon anyone's life I speak right now be set free be released now every other influence on your life that is not of the Christ bringing you oppression programming failure to your life i stretch my hands and i command liberty right now in the name of jesus please listen to this instruction we are going to shout hallelujah three times just listen just listen we are under a very strong prophetic atmosphere this night and I want you to shout hallelujah three times. By the third shout, I'd like you to bring out all those under the anointing here. I'm going to minister. But by the third shout, there are chains that it didn't start from you. It held people so that they would not lift up their heads. Horns sitting on the destinies of men. Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 son of man what seest thou and he said i saw four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against israel against jerusalem against judah so that no man don't lift up his head are you ready three times from the depth of your heart ready number one The Bible says now Jericho was strictly shut. Nothing went in and nothing went out. What sort of a city is that? Nothing can go in and nothing can come out, even if it belongs to you. Are you ready for the second shout? One, two, three, go. Hallelujah means Halal Yeshua. It means praise the Lord. Another expression means put pressure on his integrity. Every time you praise a man, he must rise to match what you are praising him for. Are you ready for this shout? This one is not just a shout. This one is Tehillah. It's a shout that can bring down Jericho. Are you ready now? Lord, by this shout, everything that has shot your blessings, that nothing goes out and nothing comes in, let it give way now. One, two, three, go ahead and shout. Doors be open. Doors be open. to close doors. Esmata to gates. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them up. I'm a winner, man. A winner man, he's won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Upon Mount Zion, the Bible says there shall be deliverance and even holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. 
la baruska de brande ge bahasha la katusi. The la baruska ge de balatash. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. Now, please bring them out. I decree and declare that everything sitting on your destiny that will not let you go. There are mothers here you have cried for your children. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I command fire upon everything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, 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 release families, release businesses, release destinies, release families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Again, I declare that every spirit that will not let you go, it must go for you now. It must go for you now. It must go for your children now. Moses stood before Pharaoh and said, Thus saith the God of the Egyptians, the Hebrews. He says, Let my people go that they may go and serve me. I decree and declare whatever has held you that will not let you go hear the word of the Lord it leaves you now it leaves you now it leaves you now Wherefore God has so highly exalted him, the Bible says, and had given him a name. That name is an office. It said that at the mention of that name, every knee must bow of things in the heavens, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. If there is anyone here who came with a crutch inside or outside and a to walk lift it up now lift it up now if there's anyone who came here with a crutch or an aid lift it up now and begin to walk lift it up now whether inside or outside lift it up and begin to walk lift it up I'm seeing one there walk lift it up lift it up and begin to walk I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything again I say that will not let you go let it go for you now and for all of you who are out here every power that has held you we stand under the corporate anointing we declare no matter how long it has held you leave them now Hear what the Bible says. It says, now the Lord is that spirit. There are many spirits, but this one is that spirit. And that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let there be freedom now. I believe in impartation. Impartation is a transference of graces. Hallelujah. Every time God sends a word to Jacob, it is because he intends for it to reach Israel. Like never before, there are many of you here who are calling to the ministry of prophetic intercession. May the mantle and the grace for that ministry, let it rest upon you now. 
worry just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out may that grace rest upon you now number two the anointing that shifts men to have divine encounters supernatural encounters may that grace some of you it will meet you in your place of retreat it will meet you whilst you sleep may that grace rest upon you now every dead prayer life here every dead word study life be found to flames afresh in the name of Jesus hallelujah let me pray for you any wrong association in your life programming you to become a shame a reproach to parents every spirit of dishonor and rebellion among children to parents we cast that spirit now <laughs> hallelujah hear me every manifestation of irresponsibility among young people one of the blessings of the east is the blessings of responsibility and diligence god has placed grace upon these hands so any young man who is not doing anything is just a lazy person i pray that the spirit of laziness and irresponsibility will drive it far from your territory <laughs> hear me if there is anyone here who is in any kind of financial trouble a court case or you are in debt i don't care how you got there by the message of the god of david come out of it now come out of it now come out of it now hear me from today any man that fights you goes down instantly hallelujah one prayer point and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead he must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying please pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross lift your voice and pray are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to be with. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned to me. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names. Everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that yoke and that spirit be broken at the count of three you will shout Jesus one two three I command that devil out of their life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out by the power that they make the spirit of the over I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains. Chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every change. In the name of Jesus. Change be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. All the overflow. Outside. Following online. Change be broken. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. in the name that is above all names i pray for you please stand up i decree and i declare by the power of the holy spirit that everything that is not a planting of god i curse it now now let it live your life in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god now for all of you who have come out here may not have the time to speak to everybody one of you the power of god is coming on you now with a loud shout in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you everything that is not a planting of god may fire from heaven rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now in the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying recurrent sickness coming again you treat it coming again you treat it i speak and i come by the road of a higher priesthood i command that devil out of your life now out of your destiny in the name of jesus let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ that lady I cast that devil out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ.
I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. Madam, stretch your hands. Lift. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. The name of Jesus never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus, I declare it so. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There are two people at the back. The power of God is coming on them with a loud shout. Please pick them and bring them out. Two people at the back. I just saw light leaving this place. Right to the back. Please bring them. My dear. I cause everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry. I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year, you'll be a multi-millionaire? You believe it? Listen, when, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We're a kingdom-driven people and everything we do is for his glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness, not just in front, even across the congregation, I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God. Any fraternity with spirit beings. Please bring them out. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I cost those spirits right now. I cost those tabaka 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 I cost those spirits right now. Hallelujah. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own life. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Lord is showing me someone, your mother. Your mother is in the hospital right now. I'm seeing this is sickness. Is she's been so I don't know what it is, but I don't know if she's paralyzed. She's in the hospital, lying down in a sick bed. Who is that person? Please don't come out at random, please. My, my dear, look at me. What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Madam, 
what's your name okay i want to pray for you father i stretch my hands over these ones my god I'm just seeing fire leaving my hand. I'm just coming to rest on some of you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be liberty right now. Liberty right now. Liberty right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Liberty right now. I cross the walkings of darkness. This is Koinonia, the house of God. I declare liberty right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Help them please. Hallelujah. Ah. Everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give back to. Business ideas, visions, every power stopping your delivery. I command it to clear the way now. 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 As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Madam, I stretch my hands and I pray for you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let there be a miracle for you right now. My sister, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, go and give birth. In Jesus' name. For all of you who are out, I don't know why you are out, but I declare by the Spirit of the Living God, every issue of concern, it comes under judgment now. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. You're welcome, madam. Can I pray for you? I want to pray for you. My goodness. The Lord is bringing a miracle, but I'm seeing the power of God touching you, your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that is not a planting of God roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of Jesus number two madam the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you call it your month of restoration the Lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life I declare it so in the name of Jesus Christ Please don't be tired. God is visiting people. Ah! I just saw light. There is a grace for speed. People are going to begin to run right now. Just hold them and bring them out. I release that grace for speed. Bring them out. There is a strength grace for speed that is coming on people now. Politicians, businessmen, men and women of God, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that anointing now. Please bring them out. Strength, grace for speed that is coming upon you. Parusia, Tabagata, Parusia. Some of you, the next one month, within one month, within one month, things will begin to shift in your life. We are prophesying by the Spirit. Within one month, within one month, the delay of years, within one month. Speed, speed to your life. Help them, please. Speed to your life. I'm still praying it. I'm still seeing that great rest on people. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life. Supernatural speed. Hallelujah. There is a man of God here. Oh dear. You have been praying, don't come out. The power of God will come on you. You have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic. You are on this road. This road. The power of God will touch other people, but the person I'm talking about is on this road.
this row at the back bring the person there is a grace for signs and wonders as is happening to one as many as desire in the name of jesus may that mantle rest upon your ministry upon your life grace is coming upon you signs wonders i'm telling you you will be surprised at what god will do in your life grace you will command signs and wonders in business in ministry may the good hand of god come upon you Hallelujah. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, we believe. Jesus, there is healing. Please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact those following on TV or following on any of our social media platforms outside connect now by faith please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we're going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together i'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the holy spirit over you the moment i do that i want you to begin to check yourself in the name of jesus christ please shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity, causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Release them in the name of Jesus. Right now I declare life to your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed in Jesus name, be healed in Jesus name, blind eyes be opened now. If you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair, stand, lift that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed, blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of jesus christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now i'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of jesus christ there's someone the lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name There's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object. When you came out from that dream, you've had pains all over your body till now. The power of God is touching you right now.
following online we minister the power of the holy spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of god is touching you right now i'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in jesus name the lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while i minister the life and the power of jesus be healed now in jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of jesus christ the name of Jesus. of Jesus who is the son of the living God that these Egyptians that you see today you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life by the power that is Christ from the dead where doors have closed for you in the name of Jesus, as you return from this mountain, step into a realm of open doors. Please believe, believe every prophetic word. Step into a realm of open doors. Those trusting God for jobs, in the name of Jesus, for some of you by next week, I declare by the Spirit of God, you return with miracle jobs. where you have not experienced favor in your life i release my faith with you experience strange levels of favor i pray shame and dishonor let it be far from your life forever i pray for your spiritual life a fresh hunger for the things of god a fresh hunger for prayer and fasting a fresh hunger for the study of scripture in the name of jesus christ everything you have seen or god told you should come into your hand and has not yet manifested i declare the grace for performance the grace for manifestation the grace for performance the grace for manifestation may it come upon you right now and everything you have started 
and yet you've not finished may the finishers anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that your power is broken now let God's people go free now in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name my God just help those under the anointing be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name the power of God is going through your body now help them please help them be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now partial complete blindness be open now there are some people having pain pain at the back side your lumbar vertebra be healed the power of God is touching you right now every kind of bone condition you're here you're on crutches you're on a wheelchair you don't have to bring them out you don't have to bring those under the anointing out there's no space because some other people will come you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches right now I declare in the name of Jesus stand up stand up and lift your crutch and walk in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus every blood condition every genotype issue we change it now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now the Lord is ministering to me you don't have to come out there are a number of ladies with multiple lumps around your breast area the power of God is touching you right now after this prayer you check it you will not find it again in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a I don't know if it's a, there's a there's a gentleman you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck after this prayer you check it right now you find out that it's gone completely in the name of Jesus every blood condition goes right now migraine headache very severe pounding migraine headache the Lord is healing you right now I'm seeing someone you have this recurrent pattern it's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria every month no matter how well you treat it it still comes back the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing three people the Lord is healing them from pile in fact for one of you it's a very severe issue you cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain we come in the name of the Lord Jesus let there be healing for you I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones lifting the pictures of your loved ones wherever they are and those of you following by way of TV following online in the name of Jesus we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes to your offices in the name of Jesus your homes your offices your devices let there be miracles in the name of Jesus the Christ of God in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone your your this is my right your right ear your right ear you feel you know how this is like there's water you are trying to get it to come out as soon as we are done praying check yourself you'll find out that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus there is a woman you're, you're not exactly a young lady I'm seeing that um, I don't know it's not appendicitis but there is a severe looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you I command that mass to disappear now the Lord is showing me a family your mother mama is in the hospital right now as I am speaking the power of God is touching her where she is this is this is a teaching hospital in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle now for time's sake whether i mention your case specifically or not in the name of jesus who is the christ of god he's been exalted both as lord and as christ i declare be healed now be healed now 
be healed now. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. Are you celebrating miracles? In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life has changed. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Inside here, following online at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflow. Father, there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Oh, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name an office above every other office above thrones above dominions i declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now was still praying please bring them out Shagapakatos. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos Keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Every time good things are about to manifest, you keep walking, but just when it's about to happen, you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things. Anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough, may fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb. 
seated on the throne Mountains bow down, every ocean roll To the Lord of Lords We will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun to praise Hallelujah Please stretch your hands towards me I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news, sounds of good things, sounds of good. Help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years by the power of the Holy Ghost. Suddenly. I'm seeing a very interesting vision the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave and I saw it open and I saw things not people things that are there coming out I'm declaring to someone this is not just restoration this is resurrection there are some of you they've concluded things about you about your family about businesses i call upon my god everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family i call upon my god who is your god talita kumi that which is dead come back to life talita kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying business dying families come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost even if it is three months in the name of Jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of Jesus Christ Madam, I pray for you, according to the time of life, in the name that is above all names, go and tell your husband that the Lord has brought visitation for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her please. Praise the Lord. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week, may God surprise you. You will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray, for, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray because I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, 
you have to pray i believe in miracles god is taking sickness sickness i'm looking at you and i'm seeing many things i'm seeing a thermometer go up and down up and down up and down this is bp two people will start running in the overflow outside outside now we may not have time to bring them out outside i'm seeing the power of god outside the overflow outside just bring them to the front of the projector screen i want to pray for them because the lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the lord is showing me sir may my god bless you in the name of jesus and for you sir may my god please stand up you're a worker what do you want god to do for you Look at a wise man you heard what he said he said i want to know him more is it no relationship that brought this privilege now don't you think relationship has other privileges too the greatest prayer request is relationship you can have a man's hand but when you have his heart you have access to everything are we together and i truly pray that god will help you to know him more Amen. the holy ghost that was given to us to help us know the lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of jesus christ every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now Please stand up our alignment there are destinies tied to our obedience there are destiny tied to our prayer our fasting our diligence the miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus so no matter what level you are in ministry please let this thing plant a genuine hunger all these celebrity things that destroy us push it one side and settle with God carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with God don't ask God to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back It's important you see I know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in Zaria um, and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now i'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here i don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but jesus still heals are we together now lay your hands very quickly everyone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest He touched me, the master touched me, and oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened, and now.
There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, the healing anointing is flowing here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind infirmities, you don't have to bring them out. Right now, miracles are happening. I command those devils to give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head, to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, leave the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness, be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's I think I'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a lady here. You don't have anything cancer, but your hair falls. This, is, this has been a very demonic thing. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, I hope I know what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. But this is what is happening. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle for you now. I don't know what the medical condition is but in Jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you I'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh, what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now. The power of God is touching you. Supernatural miracle right now. Supernatural miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Back pains, all kinds of back pains. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. The Lord is showing me at least eight people 
you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now you no know, you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lungs the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God I command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah ah, I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now uh, the lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you yeah. be healed in the name of jesus yeah. now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now yeah. please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. Father, I want you to believe right now. The anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command i pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now I decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left <laughs> a 
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now if there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the lord i agree with you in the name of jesus christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of jesus go back and succeed <laughs> whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry, fresh fire for the new season. Those of you in business, fresh connections and illumination. Those in politics, parliamentarians, supernatural grace in the name of Jesus. And then I pray for your spiritual life. There is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger I'm but let me pray for your spiritual life you go up today you are down tomorrow you pray today then you ignore the prayer altar you study today then you ignore it the grace for consistency take that grace now grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names, find favor with them. Find favor with systems. Find favor with structures. Find favor with government. Find favor with captains of industry. Find favor with gatekeepers. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything you came with tonight as a point of contact, I declare by the spirit of the living God, whether it's a document, your credentials, whatever it is, I release my faith and I agree with you. Even as you have lifted it up, you remain lifted. <laughs> in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ and everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of jesus and by the spirit of the christ i clear it out of your life i clear it out of your destiny in the name of jesus christ The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long 
that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of Jesus we command that door open now 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 be open now in the name of Jesus open up Peter and Peter be open now Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here. You have integrity, you are walking in grace, but there is a veil over your face. There are businessmen, there are captains of industry. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare for such people in this auditorium and outside, please bring them. Right now, may the fire of the Holy Spirit burn those veils right now. Burn those veils right now. Turn it into a prayer. Every veil covering the glory of God upon my life. He says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory. He called him the lifter up of my head. Bring them out. Everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long. You are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now. You came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my destiny. Hello, King Madonna. God did not send me. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke over your life, over your ministry, I stand by the rod of the apostolic. I stand by the rod of the prophetic. I declare judgment on strange spirit, judgment on foundation, judgment on yokes of darkness. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night bring them out the force that will not let you go this is koinonia the force that will not let you go i stand by the god of heaven the god of Shashuron, that rides upon the wings of the wind i declare it must let you go now the 
The Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces, familiar spirits, that stand to shut doors. I'm praying for business people. I stand by the unction of Jesus. And I declare, anyone here in business, whatever power has refused to let you advance, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, it comes under fire. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Release your destiny. Release your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go. Hear me. I don't care what it is called. Blood disease, genotype issues, recurrent things, eating your finances, destroying the destiny of your family. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now. All kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name that is above every other name. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Blood condition. Be healed. Heart condition. Be healed. Migraine. Be healed. All kinds of bodily let me pray one more prayer whoever is sitting on what is yours Now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven, I declare, my God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. you in front here I decree and declare standing for yourselves and your families the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life I speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now they came to the house of God let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. The Lord 
is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction, and there is a chain of darkness holding you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Inside and outside, I want you to bring them here. In the name that is above all names. This is Mount Zion. And the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break chains. I break chains. Bring them out. I break chains. Every chain that will not let you move forward. Every chain that holds you down. He must leave you now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you have been so for long, but except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar pateke barata bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head Release that family, all of them. Release that family. Not just one person. Release that family. This is a whole family under bondage. Release them. Release them. Release them now. Release them now. Father, mother, siblings. Release them. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a family. No one gives back. Fruitfulness is a challenge. The Lord is releasing that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is Koinonia. Every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be, another is taking your place. I command that spirit to give way right now with the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to give way in the name of Jesus. This change that I see on people's feet, it's time to release them right now. You've been at the same position for many years. The only thing growing in your life is your age. Nothing more is growing. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over it. I take authority over it. Hear me, anyone that digs a pit for you here, I declare the earth will open and swallow them. The Bible says, and the Lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. All of the Bethels who are here, 
I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family. We minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out here by the spirit, I open up every closed door right now. And in the name of Jesus, we release you to prophetic dimensions. Move to the next levels of your life, next levels of your destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. one more time whatever will not let you go i call on my god who is also your god may he clear them out of the way may he clear them out of the way may he clear them